Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a brand new tutorial and this one is going to be on um, showing you how to set a cell phone on fire. So let me go ahead and open up the pictures we're going to be using. Um, you can actually get all of these pictures on our um, Christian Photoshops page. You would just go to um, ChristianPhotoshops.com and then you would go to free stock images and uh, just we have hundreds of images there so just click the ones you want and both of these images this is a picture of a cell phone uh, holding a cell phone um, so this picture is on there so download this one and then we have another fire picture which is also on there and it's this one right here so we're going to be using both of these pictures um, for for this project so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this one first so this is just a hand holding a cell phone it's, it's all it is it's nothing really fancy about it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is um, we need to uh, kind of move the hand around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part of the hand like that. It's, it's, show, it's showing too much arm right now. So what I'm going to do is just copy that and we're just going to bring this down to about right there. That looks fine. So bring that down, and then obviously on the the layer below that, um, what we're going to do, you can just um, you can just fill that layer to that black color. There you go. So now now it's gone. Um, so all I did was I just moved the phone down just a little bit because um, we want to show more of the flames coming off. So maybe about right there would be fine. Okay. So let's just flatten that like that. So now what we're going to do is. This is the fire image we're going to use. Now, this, if you study it, you're trying to figure out what it is. All it is is I went um, and set a block of wood on fire. So it's just I make, I cut a block of wood out that was the same shape and size as a cell phone. So I, that's all I did. It's just, it's just just a block of wood, put some lighter fluid on it, set it on fire. And now it's got the same basic outline as, as a cell phone. So what you want to do is you want to take this layer, this uh, this entire file, and you want to just move it in to this um, phone image. So we have two layers here. You've got your fire image, and then you've got your cell phone image. And we're going to change this layer to screen. So go up here to your blending modes, and then click on screen. And so what that does is it brings all the light through um, and leaves all the black behind. So all the places that were black you can't see, all the places that are white will come on top of it. So now what we want to do is we want to rotate this um, fire file um, and we want to rotate it so that that block of wood is the same spot as that cell phone, if that makes sense. So about right, maybe about right there, I think that would look good. All right, so obviously the, the block of wood's got sharp edges, so they're kind of poking out right there. We can fix that, though. All right, so about right there, I think, looks pretty good. And then once you're you're happy with how it's modeled and everything, just go ahead and hit the, um, the check mark, and there you go. Now, here's the problem. The fire looks great. It's coming right off of the cell phone. Um, the problem is all this junk down here, so the, the wood in the background and just it, it just doesn't look right so all you want to do is create a um, layer mask so just hit your layer mask button and then you want to get a, a nice large soft brush and I'll change the flow down a little bit and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna mask out those parts that you don't want so everything below obviously below the cell phone um, wouldn't have any fire So there we go. All right, and now I'm just gonna go zoom in, make sure everything looks okay. Um, you can see there's two little things I wanna fix. You see the little corner, see this corner right here? Um, that shouldn't be there, it doesn't make sense. So just go to your, your layer and we're gonna smudge that. So go to your um, smudge tool, it's right over here. Click on smudge and then just what we're doing is we're just going to smudge it behind the phone. There we go. And now you can't see it. And we'll 
just create little flames right there. That'll look pretty good. Okay, zoom out. All right, so there you go. That's pretty much all we had to do. Um, you can spend a little bit more time on it um, if, if you want to um, to make it a little bit better. You can also, what another thing that you could do is, um, I think we have a fire file. Let's see. Like here's another fire file that's on the um, the website. So you could you could get like one of these these little flames right here, and then just put it over here. And you could also change this one to screen. And then you could put this, see this this picture right here. You could put this like right in here. And so you can kind of enhance the fire just a little bit if you wanted to. Um, or what we could do. You see how that that's kind of the blue flame at the bottom. We could change this this fire to blue. So what you would do for that is you just create an adjustment layer on top of it. We'll do a hue and saturation adjustment layer, and then clip that. So let me show you what we're doing first. So this, we're doing a hue saturation layer on this fire, and so I would click colorize. So that there's that that blue color. Um, what you can you can change it to any color, and it's right over here on the um, the, the top the hue part. But I like the color blue because we're going to match this blue and then change your saturation to whatever it needs to be. So probably about right there, I think looks pretty good. Make sure your lightness doesn't, your lightness doesn't go um, above zero because then you start getting that problem. Um, but put it right there and then make sure you get the color exactly the way you want it and then slide that over here. And that looks pretty cool. So now you have the nice blue flame on the bottom and it leads up to the, the bright orange flame and that looks pretty cool. Okay, but you could keep playing with it if you wanted to, but I just wanted to show you a really quick way um, how to set a cell phone on fire without actually hurting yourself. Um, so that's all you gotta do. Just take, take a picture of holding a cell phone, take a picture of a fire, and then just blend them together just like that and get rid of the imperfections and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. And uh, check back with us later. We got more tutorials coming up.